Hey everybody, Ian from Novel Music here, and I'm excited to celebrate the one year anniversary of Seeds with a update to version 1.6. As you'll see, Deviate is bigger now, and we have split out the octave and pitch uh, parameters, which were once tied to the same lane, are now separated. And we have a scale parameter. So let's work with the scale parameter. Let's start with a simple rising scale. You may recognize that as a major scale in C major. And if I start to raise the chance that it will quantize the scale to my selected key and scale, I now get, all the way at 100%, a complete C minor natural minor scale. If I want to invert the scale, in addition, I press this little button that says I, and it's inverting the scale. The um, note of symmetry for the inversional axis is middle C in this case. And if I want to shift this to another key center, to F for instance, and I can do that. Let's put it back to a, we had it non-inverted, and we have a choice of 36 scales, and those of you familiar with the scales available in Ableton Live when you're working with a MIDI clip, these are the exact same scales, so if you're used to that workflow, this will be easy. Now let's explore the new pitch parameter, which was, again, once part of the octave, but now it's been split out into its own lane. If we have the scale uh, quantize setting all the way up at 100%, and I start to play with the pitch chance, you see that no matter what it's spitting out, which is either less than or equal to seven semitones, it stays within the scale that we've selected. If I take this down to zero percent, you hear that now it's going out of key. So it's up to you how you want to work with this. And we can of course adjust the octave. The only other remaining thing that's new here is that instead of being three mappable parameters, we now have four because, well, there was just more room, so why not throw in a fourth one? Seeds 1.6 sees one little update with chronology, and I've noticed over the last few months people have requested quintuplets as a division in the main clock. So we always have had our regular 16th note or 16th triplet, 8th triplet divisions for the master clock, but now, due to popular demand, we can do 16th note quintuplets. Let's hear that against the clock. We can do this as 16th quintuplets, we can do 8th quintuplets, and we can do quarter note quintuplets. So, you asked for it, and here it is. Polymath version 1.6 also sees an update to the scales. If we go to all tracks, you see we can choose our scales. We now have 36 scales to choose from. Actually, more than that, because we still have the user scales as well. So user scales, of course, allow you to create your own custom scale. Let's hear that. And on the fly, I can change elements of the scale as I work. But of course, you can use pre-existing scales. Again, there are 36 of them. Let's choose Messian 3. And we still have the ability to offset the scale, meaning it starts from a different scale degree. And we can, of course, still smoothly change over to our second scale, in this case, C minor. In addition, just like deviate, we can invert the notes. So in this case, you see the sequence is going up, but the pitches are going down because they're inverted. So a lot of possibilities here, and I hope you have fun playing with that. 
One last update to show you is with Hub. Instead of having the pitch being changed um, globally for all ports, it's now actually per port. So this is particularly useful when you're working with a drum rack. So let's say I don't like that clap there at the end, so I can shift just that one port up and down as I please from minus 36 to plus 36 semitones. And this applies also on the send side as well. Before you send MIDI information out, you can transpose it per port. And those are the updates for Seeds version 1.6. I hope you'll enjoy using the collection, and thanks for watching this video.